Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm doing something a little different. I thought you might enjoy seeing a handgun cartridge and it's an oldie. The 44 Colt is an old black powder cartridge that was introduced in 1871. The US Army used it from then until 1873. We sell them here of this cartridge today, especially with the 45 Colt being so popular. The 44 Colt was used in the Richards conversion of the Colt 1860 percussion revolver. Later on, the 44 Colt ammunition was loaded in both black and smokeless powders up until about 1940. The black powder military load was a 225 grain bullet with a velocity of around 640 feet per second. The original bullet was outside lubricated with a diameter of 443, but more modern reproductions take the same diameter as other standard 44s, such as the 44 Special, and so on. A nice feature of this gun is that it can also shoot 44 Russian. As I mentioned, the 44 Colt had an outside lubricated bullet. This is a photo of an original 44 Colt. This is one of my reloads. So the original would take this bullet, as you can see, it is even with the OD of the case. Here is the type of bullet we use today, inside lubricated. And so this one measured 443, and this one would measure 430. This reproduction revolver by Cimarron is the 1860 transition model type 2 and 44 Colt 44 Russian and has an 8 inch barrel. As I said, this is a transition model. So what do we mean by transition or conversion? Well, the original revolvers were muzzle loading percussion and they drill through the cylinders and, and the Richards Mason conversion ring and, and gate were added. This allowed for breech loading metallic cartridges, and in this case it was 44 Colt or 44 Russian. This revolver is an open top design, which lacks a top strap over the cylinder. Later you would see Colt add a top strap for, their, uh, for greater strength in the famous 1873 an upgrade that was requested by the Army. Remington had already beat them to it with their model 1858, which featured a top strap. The trigger pull on this particular model is quite light, measuring one and a half pounds. And this being the Army model means it has longer grips, which gives me more comfort when handling and shooting. In order to get as perfect a copy as possible, the company worked from an original in the antique collection. These old cartridges are very gentle and they're easy to shoot and make a day at the range more uh, enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will tune in again. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Also, I would enjoy seeing any comments you have or questions. So long for now.